Algebra 1, Lesson 93. This one is on products of radical expressions and then quotients of radical expressions. Okay, let me show you something really quick just to kind of give you an idea what you're used to working with. So we're used to working with something like 3 sixths times 2 thirds times 4 over 4. And you work these problems out. So let's just pretend you can take any numerator and cancel that out with any denominator. So this 3 and this 3 cancel out. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and do this. This will not cancel, but it will reduce. So 2 will go into 6 3 times, 2 will go into 2 1 time. And then this, denominator, or this numerator and this denominator cancel out to become one whole, which is just cancel. Okay? So my final answer would be 1 third. You see how we did that? Okay. Now, knowing that, that you can cancel out any numerator with any denominator, let's move on to the lesson because this looks really hard. Okay? And here's what it says. Simplify, and then it tells me what to simplify. X squared minus 25 over X squared minus 7X times, all of that times, X squared plus 3X over X squared minus 2X minus 15. Okay, if you were to look at this problem, you'd be like, what? What in the world am I supposed to do? Okay, so hopefully you remember that in order to simplify, we're kind of going to like factor in when each one of these sections. So I'm going to go in and factor this, and hopefully you're going to see that that would be x, x, which would become x squared, and then 5 times 5, but we need 1 to be plus and 1 to be minus for it to get rid of the 5x in the middle because we'll have a plus 5x, so let me show you. So x times x will become x squared, okay? And then x times 5 will become 5x, and then we'd start with this one and go negative 5 times x will become negative 5x plus, and then this will become negative 25. So we easily see this 5x plus negative 5x cancels it out, so it becomes x squared plus a negative 25 x squared plus a negative 25. So we did it correct. Okay, you see how that cancels out when you make one of them minus and one of them plus? Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Okay, so we make one minus one plus. Okay, and that gives us the answer. Okay, so I'm done with this. All right, now let's, well, we could, whichever. I'm going to go on over here. Okay, now when you see a problem like this um, and it doesn't have x squared, x, and then a number, where this one up here had x squared and a number, you can do the factor method. But with this one, you can't do this exact factor method. Basically, what you're wanting to do on these is to look, what does both of these have? An x. So, we're going to put an x on the outside, and then what will go on the inside? Well, if I take one x out, then I have an x left over, and then if I take an x out here, then I have a 7 left over. You see what we did? Yep. Okay, so now the new problem becomes this factored over this. All right, but we're not done because now we have to do these two the exact same way we did this one. Okay, again, which method am I going to use on this one? Same one. The Taking the x out. So x here, and then, so that leaves me an x still, plus 3. Got it? Okay, and now let's do this one. And this one, I actually like these because it goes x squared, x, no which is what we like, x, x. And then we're trying to come up with is what times what equals 15, but then when you minus those two numbers, it equals 2. 5 and 3. 5 and 3. And because I want a negative 2 when I subtract, minus, minus five. I want the minus to be on the 5 because it's the higher number, so it takes that. And then plus. All right. And now you've had plenty of... Um, times where you're doing these kind of problems, so that should not be different. What should be different is this point right here. All right, so again, just like I did, I was able to factor um, that 3, 6 times 2 thirds times 4, 4, and I could cancel out this, and then I could cancel out this, any numerator with any denominator, any numerator with any denominator, okay? Now, using that same method, let's look at this. 
x minus 5, x minus 5. Cancels out. Okay? Do I have an x plus 5? No. Do I have an x minus 7 somewhere? No. Do I have an x somewhere? Yes. All right, what's left? X plus 3? X plus 3. So what is left over? X plus 5. Plus On the top, x plus 5 is left over. On the bottom, x minus 7 is left over. And that's it. This would be your answer. Got it? Yep. All right, let's do another one just to make sure you're getting it. And then um, hold tight because we're doing a total different problem after this next one. So. Uh, let's do, this one's 93.2, and I want you to actually try this one on your paper. x squared plus x minus 6 all over x squared minus 4x minus 21. And all that is times x squared minus 8x plus 7 all over x squared minus x minus 2. Okay. All right, first thing I'm going to do is add these as a 1 and a 1 just because that helps me. All right, now I'm going to start with this one. And we're going to go x, x, and then what times what would equal 6 would give us a 1? 6 and 1. Well, that would give us 5 in the middle. I thought of that one too at first. It's actually going to be 2 and 3. 2 and 3, yeah. Because 2 times 3 is 6, and then when you subtract 2 and 3, you're going to get 1. But where do we want the minus and the plus here? Minus 2. Minus 2, because we want to keep the plus when we subtract right here. So, there you go. Done with that one. All right, let's do the next one. X, X, and this one's going to be 7 and 3. And I want to put the minus with the bigger number because I want a negative here. Got it? All right, next one. You, you, you doing pretty good over there? Yep. All right. And this one's going to be 7 times 1. Um, and both of them are going to have to be negative in order to get a positive 7 and a negative 8. So there we go. All right, and then this last one. Now, I'm not going into great detail on how to do these because I've taught you that previous lessons. So 2 times 1 would give you 2, and now I want a negative here and a positive here. Yay! All right. Now, do you have everything I've got? Mm -hmm. All right, so now what we want to do is go any numerator with any denominator. X minus 2 and X minus 2. Right here. X minus 7, X minus 7. Oh, okay. X plus 3. X plus 3. Okay. X minus 1, X plus 1. Final answer, X minus 1, X plus 1. Got it? Mm -hmm. This over this. And that's it. Because everything else is canceled out. Yeah. Alright, now let's go on to do the next part of this lesson. And it's not that much harder, uh, but I want to show you something real quick. You know how if I said A over B is divided by C over D, what would I do here? Common denominator. No. Or dividing. Um, so, I would write it out sideways, uh, divided by C over D. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that did. Okay? And now what would I do? Uh, I would, uh, you could switch the D and C. And then yeah. Multiply. So, right now it's division, but I can't divide fractions. I have to multiply them. So, when I change this sign to a multiplication, this changes from CD to DC. Just changes to its reciprocal. All right, and then you would just multiply A times D is AD, and B times C is BC, okay? Now, knowing that, let's look at this next lesson, or this next problem. This is 93.3. It says X squared minus 2X all over X squared plus 2X minus 8, all divided by... And it's going to give me a whole other set. Mm -hmm. So guess what I'm going to do? 
you just switch them. I could write this up here and then change this sign and then change them to a reciprocal. Before you but I'm going to go in and change it now. So instead of divide, I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to look at this problem and I'm going to write the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom. You understand why I'm doing that? Yes. Okay. So I'm writing the bottom one on the top because we're changing the division to multiplication. So the bottom one says x squared. I need to actually bring this down. X squared uh, plus 7x plus 12 all over x squared plus 5x. Okay, and now we just do the same problems we have been doing. Okay, now that we've set it up. So here we go. This one's going to need us to take the x out, and then we have an x minus 2. Go with that. This one, we're going to have to do our normal factoring method. And 4 times 2 would be 8, and then I want a negative here and a positive here. Go with that one. Now let's move here. X, X. Now again, I'm not teaching you how to do this because we've done this in the past. Uh, in order to get 4 times 3 would give me 12, and then 4 plus 3 would give me 7. So, here we go. And then, oh, this one's going to be like the, this one up here. So we're going to take the X out, and X plus 5. Alright, and then you just do it like we were doing it. All right, our x's cancel out. Our x minus 2 cancels out. Our x plus 4 cancels out. Oh, and that's all that's left. x plus 3 is at the top. x plus 5 is on the bottom. Final answer. Got it? Feel like you understand? Yeah. All right, and the next one is exactly the same. I'm going to look and see if anything's different. Just to make sure I'm not, not teaching you something else. So, that's the same. If you want to do another example, you can just to try it before you get to your practice, but it's exactly the same. That's lesson 93.